Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video we'll be checking out a Newton second law problem. And in this problem, we have a 750 Newton upward tension force exerted on a 500 kilogram downward moving freight elevator. And we're looking to determine the acceleration of the elevator. So once again, the first thing I think it's important for us to do is going to be to key in on the variables that are key here, right? So what we got here, we got a 750 Newton upward tension force. So we have a force of tension acting on this elevator that is FT 750 Newtons. Awesome. We're also informed that it's a 500 kilogram elevator. And we're just going to throw this right here now. Mass equals 500 kilograms. Okay, that's going to be some useful information pretty soon. We also want to determine the acceleration of the elevator. And this is a downward moving ele elevator. We also know because the elevator is here on Earth that we will experience the force of gravity in this case. And that's going to be right there. So the question really comes down to what is the acceleration of the elevator? And right here is where we're going to find the answer. The force net, the uh, leftover unbalanced force, is going to be equal to the mass times acceleration. Now, we do know the mass, because the mass is provided for us right over here, and we see it in the problem. We don't know the acceleration, and we actually don't know the net force yet. So we can't use this equation, even though we really need to, we can't use it yet because we haven't solved the force, the net force. The net force is going, going to be equal to the force 1 plus force 2. And in this case, it's really going to be equal to gravity minus tension, and that's going to equal what the net force is. So before we grab any of this stuff, we have to try and use it. Now, we're going to remove this formula from the problem here because there's no friction going on, and we're going to assume there's no air resistance either. So let's start digging away here, guys. Anytime I see a um, force of gravity, well, we do have the mass. The mass is given for us, and we also know that the acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So force of gravity is going to be equal to mass times acceleration to gravity. And let's just keep working this out, guys. That's going to be 500 kilograms multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, so when I multiply 500 times negative 9.8, I end up with a force of gravity, which will be equal to negative 49 100 newtons. All right, so that's my FG right there. That's pretty awesome, right? So right off the bat, I grab my FG. And FG is really easy to grab usually because if the mass is given and the mass was given as 500 kilograms, then I can actually um, use this formula right here that we did use. So I'm going to erase this formula at this point. We've now been given the FG equals equal to negative 4,900 newtons. Now, there is no normal force in this problem. Normal force is exerted by a surface um, and often it's going to be equal and opposite to gravity if no other forces are acting on it. But because this is an elevator being pulled by a cable, we don't have a normal force. So what do we have here? We have an F net and an F net formula left. Can you plug either one of these into the F net problem? Well, we don't know what the F net is yet, so we can't use this equation right here with mass times acceleration. But we do, do know that F net equals F1 plus F2. And so we look at the F net in the Y axis, we'll call force 1, we'll call tension, and let's call force 2 gravity. And I'm going to take that equation and just bring it on the other side over here. So the net force, or the leftover, or the unbalanced force, is going to be equal to the force of tension plus the force due to gravity. So let's work this problem out, guys. We have 750 newtons plus, in this case, a negative 4,900 newtons. And when we do the uh, addition here of 750 plus a negative 4,900, I end up with a net force, which is negative, which is a downward direction, negative 4,150 newtons is my F net. So that's a key piece of information for us. Now, the problem isn't over yet. I have found out that the forces are unbalanced. Because they're unbalanced, I have an acceleration. So I have an F net. Now I have used this formula. Now, that F net that I just solved for, I can use that same value in this equation right here. So now I'm going to claim F net is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration of the object. Remember, this is what we're keying in on here. We want to find out what the acceleration of the object is. So now we know this is a downward moving elevator 
we have a net force that is negative. We're going to see an acceleration, therefore, that is negative as well. So let's plug these numbers in. Negative 4, 1, 5, 0 newtons this is my net force, multiplied by my mass, which is 500 kilograms. I'm sorry, equals my mass of 500 kilograms, multiplied by the acceleration of the object. And let's do a little bit of uh, algebraic gymnastics here. We have negative 4, 1, 5, 0 newtons divided by 500 kilograms gives me an acceleration of negative 8.3 meters per second squared. All right, guys, that's kind of where we wrap it up here. Go back to the problem. The problem said determine the acceleration of the object. All right, so my elevator here is moving at is accelerating at negative 8.3 meters per second squared downward. You're going to notice that the direction of the acceleration and the direction of the net force are always the same. So that actually makes sense to me. That's a reasonable number, so the problem looks great. All right, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Hope it was helpful. All right, peace.